Hello everybody, my name is Dillard, bringing you back another Yankees video. Today will be a little bit different. We're actually going to discuss the Clint Frazier incident, and I want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions in the comment section. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into the video. So first off, if you missed the game yesterday, the Red Sox ended up triumphing over the Yankees 8-5. This now improves the Red Sox record to 30 and 29 and drops the Yankees record to 38 and 20. Now, why does this have any significance with Clint Frazier? Well, it's because he committed two interesting errors in the seventh inning. Interesting to say enough, very easy errors that he probably should have came up with. The first being an easy ball that he should have fielded cleanly with his glove. And the second, he tried to dive for a ball and missed it and it bounced clearly off of his glove. There was also another interesting play where he should have probably had it considering it was in his territory in right field, but DJ had to help him out a bit. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, here are the clips. It's four or five players. You have to think about it. Oh, oh that one gets past Frazier and rolls all the way to the wall. Chavis will score easily. Nunez on his way to third. Fly ball out to right. Trouble. Frazier and LeMahieu had to come all the way over from a shifted second base position. Humans make mistakes. That's dumped into shallow right. Frazier lays out, can't make the catch. Holtz wheeling around third on his way to the plate. He'll score. So as you can see, Clint Frazier definitely had a rough night. He alone cost the team a few runs and a potential win to get back at Boston on game number three. If you guys are big Yankees fans that have been following the Yankees around this year, you would probably already know that Clint Frazier has been responsible for not just the errors that he committed against the Red Sox in game three last night, but also a handful of other simple mistakes that he has made. A lot of Yankees fans are starting to grow impatient with him, and I can understand why. With the amount of errors that Frazier has committed over this season alone, his value has significantly dropped. That will not look good on Frazier's part if the Yankees decide to let him go. Now, I don't know what's going on behind the scenes and what will happen, but I do know that it doesn't look good on Clint Frazier considering we still have Cameron Mabin who has great speed, has a great bat, and has been a phenomenal outfielder this season. Clint Frazier can definitely hit the ball, but is it enough to make up for the errors that he's already committed this season? Errors are not the best way to value a player's defensive abilities, but it's definitely a key factor to look at. According to fan graphs, Clint Frazier has a total of 160 plate appearances with 10 home runs. He also happens to have an ISO of 245, a BABIP of 316, a batting average of 272, an on base percentage of 319, a slugging of 517, a WOBA of 346, and a WRC plus of 116. Cliff Frazier also has an offensive war of 3.1, while on the flip side he has a defensive war of negative 5.1. And according to StatCast, entering Sunday, Frazier was rated as the least successful defensive outfielder among players with 25 opportunities. His negative 11 outs above average or maybe 11 outs below average was the worst among 142 players. Using batted ball data, an average outfielder would have been expected to catch at least 86% of the balls hit to Frazier. In reality, he had caught just 65% of them. The 21% difference between the expected catch percentage and executed catch percentage is more than twice the next player's disparity. So the real question goes back, is it worth it to keep him around with his bat? Is his bat good enough to make up for the errors? That is up for you to decide. Now that we got some of the basic statistics out of the way, let's go ahead and jump behind the scenes on what happened and why a lot of people are very irritated with Clint Frazier. So to begin, nothing out of the ordinary. Clint Frazier was getting some early defensive work to improve on his defense in the outfield. He was working on his defense with Aaron Judge and Aaron Hicks alongside with outfield coach Reggie Willits. But even with all the early work that Clint Frazier put in, he still struggled massively. So what exactly happened after the game? Well. The can of worms opened up and the floodgates have officially rushed in. Clint Frazier apparently decided to dip out and had no words to say to anybody. But this did not stop the media from asking questions to his teammates. Two of those teammates happened to be Luke Voigt and Aaron Hicks, while they also had some questions for Mr. Aaron Boone. Luke Voigt was quoted saying, Every guy has got his back. Everyone is going to make those mistakes. I've made them. Judge has made them. Stanton, whoever. It's part of the game. The hard part is you were playing here, which he's referring to the Bronx. It's hard because the fans want you to play mistake-free baseball. I completely get where Luke Voigt is going with this, and I think it's very important to remind people that these guys are all human beings at the end of the day. I think we as fans and decent human beings need to realize that these guys are not perfect. They never will be. We need to stop holding these athletes to a godly standard that they will never meet, and we need to stop demonizing these players for every simple mistake that they commit. It's a completely ludicrous and delusional thought process to believe guys such as Aaron Judge cannot make basic mistakes, and that if they make even one simple mistake, we need to send these guys into outer space. For Aaron Hicks, he was quoted saying, there's going to be days where things seem like they are not going your way. It kind of seems like the ball is always being hit to you. 
that's just the time where you learn over time where you've just got to slow the game down. And also Aaron Boone was quoted saying, maybe he's pressing a little bit out there. He's working his tail off. And as I've talked about it, he's making strides out there. But obviously there's been some mistakes along the way too. And that's part of continuing to develop as a young player. I also have to agree with Aaron Boone on the aspect of he's continuing. He's trying to grind. It's not like Clint Frazier is sitting alone, doing nothing, being lazy, sitting on the couch. He's working his ass off day in and day out. You have to keep in mind that Aaron Boone is also the same guy that said we were going to turn the corner and most of the fan base laughed hysterically at his face. And what happened? Oh, hell yeah, the Yankees turned the corner. I think it's also very important to mention another tweet that's coming from Brian Hoke. It says, every spring, the Yankees spend hours counseling their players about the importance of always being accountable, good days and bad. Clint Frazier refused to speak tonight, leaving his teammates to answer questions about him. Now, as someone who really loves Clint Frazier and who sees a lot of potential in him, as he keeps working, I do see the light at the end of the tunnel for him. Now, the media really needs to chill out for a minute because a lot of people are starting to make Clint Frazier look like a bad guy when he's not. He's a great human being with great personality and he's got a lot of potential. It's much better for him to exit instead of getting interviewed and saying something that he'll probably regret later on. But I also do feel like it was probably for the better if Clint Fraser stayed and answered some questions, even if he wasn't feeling it, just answer some questions as short as you can and then get out of there. That's about it, guys. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you do subscribe and click that bell notification if you haven't already. Also, make sure you do like and share the video all over social media if you are feeling generous. And definitely comment and let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on the current situation. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. See you guys later.